In previous lessons, we have worked on comparing and contrasting myths. So we had looked at comparing shrouded in myth with Cronus, and we found the things that were similar and things that were different in those two myths. And then we moved into finding the elements of myths that are found across lots of different myths. So we're finding, finding different pieces that were in all sorts of different myths. But today's lesson, we are now going to be comparing myths, so the, the myth Cronus, to these elements of myths. And so what I have done is I have pulled in quotes from the key elements of mythology, so that informational text, which is nonfiction, and quotes from Cronus. And by reading the key elements of mythology, that informational text will help us understand the literary text of Cronus. And that's also going to help us come up with ideas for themes or details that help support that. And so what you're going to do is, we're gonna do this one together so you kind of understand what the assignment is, but we're gonna read this key elements of mythology and we're gonna find like, what is that piece that's similar to a statement in Cronus? So the key elements of mythology, some of the characters and myths are often non-human even though they possess human qualities and emotions. These characters maybe include gods, goddesses, and supernatural beings. And so we saw a lot of that in Cronus, that we have all these characters and they have different human qualities, um, but yet they have qualities that are not necessarily human also. So let's see which ones are similar to this statement, where they possess human qualities and emotions. And so we're gonna read from Cronus. But Rhea mourned. Her five sisters who had married the five other Titans were surrounded by their Titan children while she was all alone. And remember that her husband had eaten all of their children. So we're trying to find out what is the element from the key elements of mythology that's also in Cronus. We can figure out that the key element is that the goddess Rhea possesses human qualities of emotion. So we're talking about these human qualities, even though she's non-human, she's a goddess. And when it says she was all alone. And so I basically just reworded that and said she felt lonely. When I'm trying to think of what does my theme mean? So what does that, what does this myth, Cronus, teach us about the element of myth? And so right now I'm just taking this one little piece from Cronus and I am going to try to make a statement that's a theme from just this passage. My theme that I think from just this passage, everyone deserves to be loved. That's what I think this theme is getting at. So that's what I think it's supposed to be teaching us. The details from the myth that support this theme. Well, right away it says, but Ray moaned. So I am gonna put that statement down in this area. And then I'm gonna find another one. And she, while well, she was all alone. So that was another one that stated everyone deserves to be loved and she because she had those human feelings but i don't have anything that really says that she deserves to be loved or everyone deserves to be feel loved that wasn't really up here but if i click down in this area where it says details for Krona, from cronus it's going to take me back to page nine and that's going to be the mythology cronus i also remembered after she had her sixth and last child of zeus she was determined to save this one last child to love and cherish. That motherly love came through. So I am going to come back to page 20 here, and I'm going to paste that information in. And that's going to help me figure out maybe what the theme is. Now, I, that was just from one little section. Now, as we read through the different pieces, so on like slide 21, you are going to go through this statement from the key elements of mythology, and then this passage from Cronus and see if you can come up with how are those connected? What is the connection between those two? And then you're going to put that information down in this area. And I did include sticky notes over here. So you can use these as you need to, or you just delete them if you don't need them. But it does help to kind of, as you're taking notes, if you don't want to just write them down right here, you can add them as you go. And then you're going to kind of come up with an idea for a theme. So what would be the message that this section is trying to teach you about mythology? What's the lesson? Because that, remember, that's the idea of theme. And then what details from Cronus, this passage or the whole myth, help support that? And so this one is probably going to be different than the last one that I just came up with 
that says that everyone deserves to be loved. That's probably not the theme that you're going to come up with here. So you're going to do that for page 21 in your interactive journal. You're going to do page 22 and you're going to use 23. And I'm going to leave page 20 already done for you so you can use that as a guide as you, if you need to look back. And what would, did she say about the first idea, first draft theme idea, or what details do I need? That might help guide you. Um, so if you have questions, please ask your teacher as well.